So thank you everyone for joining this session today. Uh, we are very excited to introduce this new customer interface for license management. I'm just going to go through a brief introduction before I jump into the live demonstration. Um, the VECO customer portal is really a, a way for you to access all of your VECO licenses, both in your office as well as in other geographies if, if you have the administrative rights to do so. Um, it's also a place where you'll manage all your end users for the software, reassign and transfer licenses, as well as receive notifications of new releases or upgrades and distribute those releases or upgrades to your end users. To access the VEGO customer portal, we've defined a customer administrator or license administrator for your account. Um, if you're on this webinar, you've been defined as a license administrator. If others need to be defined, please reach out to me or Holly, and we're happy to do that for you. Um, it's important to note that anyone that's a, a license administrator will have full rights to manage the licenses in the company. So keep that in mind as you define your admins. So I'm going to touch on a brief step-by-step -step before I go into the live demonstration just to get you familiar with what you're looking at. Uh, we're going to send you a URL and that's going to be the login page to the uh, VECO customer portal. Here you would use your email address as your, as your username and we will send you a password. When you log into the account, uh, you'll be presented with the Account Details tab. Essentially, this is the dashboard for the customer portal. Here you can see who your VECO contact is. You can update your account details and contact information. Uh, you, you'll be able to manage your users from this view, add and remove uh, users, as well as change your password. Just a reminder, make sure to change your password upon entering the first time so you can have a secure uh, entry. Once you move away from your dashboard view, you enter into the Products and Licenses tab up at the top, and that has two faces to it. Uh, the Assign Licenses tab, uh, and I'll just go into this, is where you will review all your active licenses, reassign the licenses, and review and update the license maintenance for each of your licenses. The New Versions tab is where you We'll get notification that there's been a new release and you would go into this interface and view and distribute any new release or upgrades to the end user. Just one more important thing to note, uh, in, in the customer portal in the top right hand corner there's these three icons. Uh, to the left you can contact Vico, to the right here you would uh, go ahead and log out of the system anytime you're done managing your licenses and in the middle the question mark here is a help menu that uh, has a pretty descriptive um, explanation on how to use the customer portal. So I'm going to go ahead and just jump into the VECO customer portal and show you guys how to use it. Currently you're looking at the login page to the VECO customer portal or license management system. As you can see, your username is your full email address. Again, Vico will send you a temporary password. Make sure to log in and change that password uh, when you get in there for the first time. One thing to note, if you do forget your password, go ahead, click here, send us a note. We'll be happy to reset it for you. So I'm just going to go ahead and log in. When you log into the customer portal, what you can see is that there's two tabs at the top of the page, Account Details and Products and Licenses. Currently we're in the Account Details tab. This is essentially a dashboard view of your account. You can see your VECO contacts, your account details. Again, if there are any updates, just click here and send us a note. Uh, this is also where you'll manage your users. As you can see here, I have three users. Uh, this little lock next to my name means that I'm a license administrator. There can be multiple license administrators on one account. If you want us to add additional people, go ahead and send us a note. We would be happy to uh, add them to your account as an admin. I'm going to go ahead and add a new contact in here. I simply do that by typing in an email address, saving the changes, and you can see here I have a comp confirmation. Again, just one last thing to note. Uh, Go ahead and change your password in here when you enter for the first time. Let's move to the Products and Licenses tab. There are two views in this tab. 
assigned licenses and new versions. I'm going to go ahead and start with assigned licenses. Here you can see I have four products currently. Uh, these are the quantity of the products I have. If I want to dig in deeper to each of these licenses, I can go ahead and select licenses that I want to view, click Show Licenses, and we can see additional information below. Just a side note, they're currently grouped by product version. I can also group by user, but let's go ahead and leave it as product version now. If we look at the first license, is the Docset Manager. It's an NFR. It's a single user, a dedicated license. I have three of those licenses, and these are who the end users are. I can go ahead and click on this drop-down and reassign this license to Holly by simply selecting her name. You can see it's been highlighted that there's been a change. Clicking this checkbox next, check next to her name and saying that you approve of this transfer. Go ahead and confirm by update and distribute licenses. There are two things happening here. It is updating the system that, that Holly is now the end user for this license. It also sent her an email saying, uh, you know, there, there's a new license for you. Here are the download instructions, and here's the license file. Now that I'm back in this uh, uh, assigned license view, there's another thing that I can do. So let's just say that Jim Stacker is no longer using this license. I can go ahead and select this license and remove the maintenance from this license. I can just click Cancel the Automatic Renewal and Update and Distribute that change. Let's go ahead and click this Update and Distribute and make that change. Now we can see that two of my licenses are off maintenance. The one that I transferred to Holly is currently on maintenance, and this is the maintenance term of that license. So that, that is the basic functionality of the assigned licenses. Review your license inventory, assign them to end users, review your maintenance and term, uh, and then make any transfers necessary. I'm going to go ahead and move into the new versions tab. This is the area that will notify you if there's any new versions or uh, available for the current licenses you own. So we can see here that uh, my Vico Office client has a new release, uh, and I have three of those available to me. If I go ahead and select this license and want to review the details, I have two options. Here are my end users again. I can go ahead and select these licenses, uh, select each of these users or, or one or two of these users and say, distribute to the selected uh, end users only, or I can just click this automatically distribute all new licenses tab and distribute these, these upgrades. This is nice because if you have an end user that's working on a project in the previous version and you just want them to close that out, you don't have to distribute the upgrade immediately to him or her. You can actually just manually select who you want to send it to. But I'm going to go ahead and distribute all the upgrades. This has now not only updated the system, you can see I no longer have any upgrades available in my new uh, version tab because those have been distributed. It also sent an email with download instructions and a license file to the end users letting them know there is an upgrade available. If I go back into the Assign Licenses tab, we can see that my VCO Office client is now version 5. Just one last note uh, before we move on to next steps. Uh, here in the upper uh, right-hand corner, we have these icons. Uh, on the left is a little envelope where you can contact Vico. On the right is how you would log out, log out of the system once you're uh, done reviewing and managing your licensing, licenses. And the third is the Help menu. If I go ahead and click this, it has a really nice document in here that shows you step-by-step -step how to do everything uh, that I just did for you today. Um, now that I've covered the basic functionality of the Vico customer portal, um, the next step would be for us to uh, send you your login information and links to get into the customer portal site. Uh, remember, change your password when you log in for the first time. Go ahead and go into your signed licenses tab and review all the licenses that you own today. Add any new end users that you want to distribute those licenses to. And uh, with the imminent release of Extension 1, you will be receiving a notification shortly saying that we do have a new release available to you. Go ahead and jump right back into your customer portal and distribute those new upgrades.
Uh, remember, we're always here as a resource, so reach out to us if you have any questions. We're happy to help.